Hey everybody, it's Max here for another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how I did the slowly shattering text effect in the Time Games title sequence. So if we click here, you can see I'm not going to teach you how to do the grid, but I'm going to teach you how to do this. The text is very slowly shattering outward. It looks very nice, it looks kind of like the Oblivion title sequence, or just any title sequence that demand something that's very slowly shattering. Yeah, that looks very nice. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what you're gonna start off, you're gonna go composition, new composition. I'm gonna title this slow shatter text. Okay, make that 10 seconds long or however you want it, however long you want it, it does not matter. Okay, then you're gonna click okay. After that, you're gonna go layer, new text then you can type in whatever you want here I'm gonna type in chat or here all caps that looks cool and you can just play around with the text however you want to make it and then just move this wherever you want it really doesn't matter this is very customizable customizable you can use it in whatever you want okay after that you're gonna to go to the effects and presets over here in the on the right hand side then you're gonna uh, type in shatter I already had that typed in, but I type it. I'll type it in again for you. Then you take shatter and drag it right onto the, our text. Okay, right now you have this big brick formation. Now that doesn't. That's not what it's going to look like at the very end, but it does not enable you to see what your text is going to look like. And this is really good if you are doing some uh, 3D editing, but we're not going to be doing very much 3D editing in this. So you're going to go up to the effect controls, click on the wireframe plus force, this little box and switch it to rendered. Now, you just have shatter. Now let's see what this looks like. It quickly shatters, and all the 3D little blocks go down to the bottom. That looks cool, but it's not quite what we want, primarily because that'll be gone very quickly. My computer's kind of slow, so it uh, lags a little bit, but it'll be gone this quickly. Okay, so now, well, how we're gonna get rid, how we're gonna make it so that it does not fall straight to the ground, we're gonna go to textures, no, sorry, not textures. We're going to go to um, physics. Then we're going to go to gravity. Gravity, zero. Okay, so right now, the gravity is just completely zero. There's nothing's going to happen here. So right now, it shatters outward. Now, that looks really cool, but not quite what we want. So now we're going to go to force one and set the strength to... 0.2, no, 0 0.02, 2. That now, we have this very slowly shattering text. That looks cool, however, the problem with that is that there is a 3D aspect to that. That looks cool, again, all of these stages look cool, but they're not quite what we want. You're gonna go down here to extrusion depth, and click zero. So now it is not 3D at all. However, we still have this really cool text shattering effect. And now that is basically it. That's really all we need to do right now. And that's how we get this cool shattering text effect. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry. My computer's not great. So now it's slowly shattering outward. And now you can use that with any of your title sequences or trailers or whatever you want to do. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope it helped you with your video with your videos and I will see you in my next tutorial.